Hey guys, today I'll be doing the Fire Colossus. If you guys missed out yesterday, I did the uh, Dark Colossus. I'm gonna be making one of these videos as I go along with the Colossus. My hope is that maybe these videos can serve as sort of like a guideline. Uh, so in case you're looking for pointers or like maybe a general direction to go. Not a straight up how to, but maybe give you guys some ideas if you were trying to build a team for each Colossus. Okay, so the way I choose to handle this fight is Team 1 baits out his half HP active before the shield. This is important because um, once the shield pops up, then Team 1's not going to be doing any more damage. After Team 1 baits out the uh, half HP active, they take the hit. Then if they're still alive, then, you know, one last ditch effort attack. After that, Team 2 sort of comes in. Now Team 2 has a shield breaker, so they will sit if uh, he pops his shield this time. Uh, team 2's job is basically to burst him down when he's low. So with Team 2, if you're struggling to burst him down fast enough, then I recommend bring a passive attack down Ashramon. So Water Indra is a pretty good pick because he's got the attack down passive as well as the uh, Courageous Strike to be using to nuke him. What I'm saying is that you basically need to keep this Colossus attack down at all times if you want to survive his hits for more than 2 or 3 turns. Okay, so at the start of the fight, you're gonna make sure that auto button is ticked off. Then just do the defense down debuff. And then the rest of the team attacks. Right, nice. Oh, I even got the attack down debuff. All right, so he attacks. He does quite a bit of damage, but it's okay. All right, so I'll just attack again. Okay, so team one got him down to below half HP before he popped the shield. Alright, so at this point, Team 1's job is pretty much done. They got his HP down below half, procced his half HP active, tacked it, and they did it all before he popped the shield off. So, all that's left now for Team 1 to do is to soften the target as much as possible, uh, basically make Team 2's job a little bit easier. So for the sake of the video, I'm gonna switch over now to my second team and show you guys what might happen if he pops his shield. My second team is equipped with shield break, so it's not going to be a problem if he decides to pop his shield. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to be uh, diverting my attacks a bit to give the shield casting minion a little bit more SP in order to set this up for you guys. Okay, well that didn't work. My hope was that he got full SP doing that and then he cast the shield and then I could show you guys this turn, but looks like that's not going to happen. Well, I can't afford to take any more hits, so I guess I'm gonna have to finish him off now. Yeah, this guy just really hits hard, you know? Okay, so here's a situation where my Team 2 is up against the Fire Colossus. Uh, he pops his shield. There we go. And burst. And there you have it. The Fire Colossus down. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Check out my Discord if you guys have any questions to ask. Tomorrow I'll be doing the dreaded Water Colossus. Which, um, in my opinion, is the hardest one. Because it's the most time consuming. But yeah. Anyways, catch you guys on the next one.